know there's five things that are forbidden to do on the Shabbat. One of them is the Hatzah, washing. Washing includes even your hands. The person is, wakes up in the morning, not allowed to wash his hands regularly. Not only allowed to wash up until the knuckles, and past that one should not wash unless the person gets his hands dirty or something of that sort, then the person is allowed to wash his hands or any part of his body that gets dirty. However, just regularly, the person is not allowed to wash a you know, People don't want to know, like, you're allowed to go swimming. That is not a question. Can't, they can't go swimming, can't take a shower on the day of the Shabbat. How about to just sit around in the pool area? You know, forget, I'm not going to go swimming. I'll sit around, I'll go to the beach. I'll, uh, you know, sit on the, you know, the beach chair, relax, make, maybe suntan a little bit. Halakha says, Person is not allowed to even go take a stroll in the streets because you're losing the whole idea of the Shabbat. Therefore, Kaba Homer, a person can't walk around in the streets taking a little stroll. Surely one shouldn't be tanning and uh, you know sitting around in this pool area again. A person needs to rest. He's not feeling well. He's not he's tired. Right? A lot to rest. A lot of persons a lot of make it easy, you know. You know, <laughs> but a person should not be doing anything which brings a person to pleasure. He brings them from the hida. The chen maran hida katav sheat be Shabbat shehalvot et beav. Shabbat, which is tishat beav, like this year. Kule alma modu shelo yitayel be shuk be meshech kol ayom. Just like on Sunday, which is Tisha'at Be'av, one is not allowed to go walking and take a stroll, go for a nice walk, so too on Shabbat also, as well, which happens to be this year as Tisha'at Be'av, one should not go for a stroll, even though normally we know En Avelut Be'Shabbat, En Avelut Be'Shabbat is in regards to Avelut, but in regards to bring a person to Simhan, uh, extra, you know, enhancing his uh, pleasure, one should not do so on Shabbat. And he says, therefore, one should refrain from Shabbat walks, as they call it. Again, to, to a certain man, a yeah, person's a lot of walk. But if you're walking for pleasure to go and enjoy yourself with the family, yeah, one should have refrained from doing so. Because again, that is not the Avir of Shabbat. Shab Rather, again, a person should be more feeling what the day is all about, understanding what we're mourning about as, the, as, as he brings down. What would a person do, God forbid, if a child passed away? What would a person do, La'alenu, if some close family member passed away? What would you do then? That's what, you want person, what, what a person should do on the Shabbat. Because that Hashem is given in the Hamad Amen. Amen.